Welcome back, math experts. It's Charlotte, and I'm on 123A Math. Today we're going to be doing a really fun math problem, so let's get started. On this video, we're going to round to the nearest hundred. So I have the number 583, and the hundreds place, of course, is just 5. And the value of this 5 is what? 500. And then I'm going to add 500 more and that will be 600 those numbers are my benchmarks so i'm gonna place 500 here 600 here and i have to find a midpoint do you know what is the half of 100 well if i divide 100 by 2 it will be 50 because 50 plus 50 is 100 so I'm going to add that to this 500 and that will be 550. After I have my three benchmarks, I'm going to place my number in the number line. So if I have 550 here, I will have like 560, 570, 580, 583 will be somewhere around here. 583. Just looking at this, I can see that 583 is closer to 600 or closer to 500. 583 is way closer to 600. So rounded to the nearest 100, it will be 600. That's number one. Let's do number two and I'm going to be asking you questions. Okay, we're going to round to the nearest 100 and let's say that we have the number 1,643 and I'm going to round to the nearest 100. What is the value of this? It's 600, the value of this 6 is 600, but do you think that I can round 1,643 to 600? No, the closest 100 will be 1,600. How much am I going to add? Yes, I'm going to add 100 more. Do you know how much is 600 plus 100? 700. So it will be 1,700. What do I do when I have my two values, my two benchmarks? When am I going to place them? On my number line, so it's 1,000. 600 and 1,700. How do I find my midpoint? Exactly, I'm going to divide this in half and I know that 100 divided by 2 is how much? 50. So 1,650 is my midpoint. What do I do next? Very good, I'm gonna place my number on the number line. Let me change color, so yeah, this looks good. I know that 643 is less than 650, so my number will be somewhere around here. 1,643. Just looking at it, is it closer to 1,700 or is it closer to 1,600? It is closest to 1600. Very good. Let's do number three. Let's find our benchmarks. I have 500, okay. Let me move this, move, move. Oh, wow, cool. So I have 500, what is the value of this five? 500, and this is my low benchmark. And then I'm gonna add 100 more. How much is it? 600, and that is my high benchmark. How do I find my midpoint? Well, if I'm rounding to the nearest 100, I'm gonna divide 100 in two, will be 50 plus 50. So half of 100 is 50. I'm gonna add that to my 500. 550. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 5, 5. And 5 plus 0, 5. 
So my midpoint will be 550. There you go. Now it's time to place my number on the number line. So do you like the red? That looks kind of ugh. blue. Do you like it? I hope you do. Because that's what I'm going to use. So 550, 560, 570, 580. So 583 will be somewhere around here. 583. Is 583 closer to 600 or to 500? Of course, it's closer to 600. And now, the challenge for you. It's your turn. Round this number to the nearest hundred and leave your answer in the comment section. Before I leave, I want to give a shout out to Roman Badami who is becoming a math expert. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with other kids who are learning math. Thanks for watching. Bye!